Well, hello everyone. Good morning. This is Jeff Hooks, and I want to welcome you to our VNI Quick Start training call for this Saturday, September 22nd. Can't believe it's September 22nd, last week of the month. So this is an important call. We want to make sure that we equip and empower you and your team to reach your goals for September. We've still got a full, little over a full week and we wanna help you finish strong. That's what today's call is about. So um, I, I wanna welcome you if you're, if you're brand new, this call we do live, this, this event we do live every single Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern. And it's designed to accomplish a couple of things. First of all, for those of you that are brand new partners, brand new members of the VNI family, perhaps you just got started, just got positioned um, with your business here in the last week. Uh, in some cases, I know a couple of you that are on the call, you're, you, got, uh, you placed your initial product order and, and began your VNI journey uh, of building and growing your business, spreading this mission of wellness um, literally in the last 24 hours. So um, this, this, this event is for you. What we want to do uh, and what we do every single Saturday is teach you and your brand new people, your brand new team members, uh, some of the key fundamentals to help you get off to a profitable start fast with your business. Now, when I say fast, I, even on a part-time basis, that means we want you to have a profitable business quickly. Okay, so whatever product you're enjoying that you're being blessed by with the amazing VNI. I mean, let's face it, folks. I'm gonna, I want to do this spur of the moment. Let me change my camera. These are the stars. <laughs> These are the stars of the VNI show. And, uh, but these stars, our amazing science-based products, don't have legs. These stars need you and me to share them with people. They need you and me to, to uh, you know, invite somebody to taste uh, a protovite. And uh, they, they need us to share the videos. They need us to invite people to learn about VNI. And that's, that's, that's what this business is all about. The business is all about expanding our mission, the mission statement that we have, that our founder and CEO, Mr. Bill Downs, Bill and Kim, our founders, uh, their vision of, of helping people become beacons of health, hope, and abundance. Um, and, and we're talking physical health with these products, financial health with our business. That's what we're all about. And so today's event, the, the event we do live every Saturday, is to help the newest members of the team get through the learning curve quickly and get profitable quickly. So literally, even on a part-time basis, you can have a profitable business within your first 30 to 45 days if you're going real slow. And that's okay. We, you, the, the beautiful thing about this business model is you set the pace. You're the CEO of your own business. And so what we want to do is equip and empower you with some of the key fundamentals that will help you get profitable and, and, and get off to a great start. Here's the beautiful thing about it, folks. It's paint by the numbers. Now, what do we mean by that? If you're taking, if you're taking notes, I hope you, if you're brand new, write that down. My VNI business is paint by the numbers. And what we mean by that is you don't have to figure this out. We know what works. We know what doesn't work. We've got a proven business building system. And if you've been around the last couple of weeks, if you plugged into last Tuesday's monthly corporate leadership call, if you plugged into and you heard the amazing training from Ken Nasmitz, if you plugged into the, if you're plugging into the Thursday night at nine o'clock Zoom product and business overview presentations, you're going to learn how to talk about these products. You're going to learn how to how to share the referral model where you can get thank you checks from the company uh, by just inviting people to learn and, and, and experience these products. You're going to learn from and, and that's the whole purpose of, say, of, of today is if you'll plug into our system. You're going to learn the fundamentals. You're going to learn the key basics that you need to get off to a profitable start. Now, in addition to that, we've got some of the top leaders and emerging leaders that are listening live and via recording every week to our Saturday Quick Start trainings. And so if you're, if you're brand new, you might say to yourself, all right, why, does some of, why do V&I's top leaders plug into this if it's a Quick Start training designed for you know, helping new people launch their business successfully? Well, because our leaders recognize the importance of staying plugged in. Our leaders recognize the importance of learning from each other. See, what we do with these events is we have top leaders and emerging leaders across the U.S. and Canada. Uh, we got a special guest speaker uh, next Saturday 
uh, who's, who's uh, leading our expansion through Canada. And he's going to be teaching what he's doing to build and grow his business. So we're going to learn from each other. And that's the beautiful thing. So got a couple of key tips that we want to touch on every single week before I introduce our featured speaker that you can see on the screen there probably, uh, Mr. Dave Stoltzfus. Um, we are, um, it, it's so important um, to stay plugged in. So that's the kind of tip number one for you if you're taking notes, particularly if you're brand new, but really for, for all of us. Stay plugged in. Um, with your VNI business, you know, Victory Nutrition International is an amazing company. Uh, been in business almost five years, or the, literally the best kept secret in wellness. Um, Forty published peer-reviewed clinicals on our amazing finished products, unheard of in this industry. Amazing products, amazing brand. But folks, we're just getting started. We are just getting started. There's going to be an announcement before the end of next week, about the end of next week, that we're going to make uh, so much easier for your business to grow. And I'll just leave it, leave it with that little teaser, but stay tuned for some, uh, some details about midweek, and then we're going to be rolling something out uh, the end of the week that you're going to be very, very, very excited about. So stay plugged in. So what do we mean by that? We mean don't isolate. Don't isolate yourself. Don't be what I call the lone ranger. Um, this, this business is a team sport and, um, you want to stay plugged in. You want to stay plugged in, stay plugged into to the calls, like our monthly corporate leadership call this past Tuesday night, stay plugged into the quick start trainings, just like today. And just like you're doing, stay plugged in, um, stay plugged into your upline success coaches. If they're doing calls, which they do, if they're doing trainings, if they're doing meetings, have conversations with them, get some coaching, get some individual coaching as you're out sharing these products and building your business. Um, stay plugged into your back office. Are you, are you, uh, if you're on social media, you know, get, get plugged in with us on Facebook. And if you're on Twitter, um, which I'm not, but you, Twitter, um, Pinterest, all the major Facebook channels, our marketing team, we've got some amazing content. And you, all you do is just, just follow us. And you're going to be plugged into a lot of the announcements, a lot of things that are going on. Um, there's so much, uh, so many resources that are already in place and with so many amazing resources to come. Now, here's the key. This is a simple model. But by staying plugged in, you realize that, yes, you're in business for yourself. And this is an overused statement, but it's so true in our case. But you're not in business by yourself. You have a team of resources, a team of individual individuals who have a vested interest in helping you win, who have a vested interest in helping you succeed and reach your goals with Victory Nutrition International. So number one, stay plugged in. Now that's if you're brand new, you're plugged in today. Keep it up. If you're an existing leader or emerging leader, let's go a little bit deeper for just a minute. What do we mean by stay plugged in? All right, so here's a question for you. And this is not for our brand new, our new partners. This is for some, some of our leaders that, and emerging leaders that have been around and, and are, have a lot of great things happening. Or maybe you're just hitting the reset button yourself. And, and maybe you've enjoyed these products for a while. Maybe you built a business, but you've been in retirement mode for a while and you're re-engaging. And that's beautiful. That, that's, this, this quick start training call will help you. Uh, but um, you can hit the refresh button anytime. You can hit the reset button anytime. And, uh, and, and take your business to the next level. So I hope, Dave and I hope, on, on behalf of the entire VNI family, that today is that catalyst for you. That you hit the reset button. You say, you know what? I, I, I love VNI. I love the products. But I've kind of been dabbling with this thing. I think I'm going to shift gears. I think I'm going to shift gears and take this thing to another level. And uh, we, 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 we want you to do that. We'll applaud you and encourage you and inspire you and work with you and support you every step of the way. So when we say stay, stay plugged in for the leaders and the emerging leaders that have been a part of the family for a while, think about this. Did you, were, did you plug into, like, for example, last Tuesday night, the monthly corporate leadership call? We talk about staying plugged in. Okay, so staying plugged in first begins with leading by example. So if we want our team to plug in, we've got to plug in. So first question to anyone, rhetorical question, obviously, because we can't see each other, which is great. And this isn't a beat up question. It's not taking a rubber you know, a rubber uh, club and, and beating ourselves over the head, but it is an accountability question. Okay, did you plug into the Tuesday night monthly corporate leadership call live or via the recording? 
Did you plug into every Thursday night at nine o'clock Eastern in this meeting room? We're doing a, a live product and business overview that we had the, the biggest attendance that we've had so far this past Thursday night. And Ken Nasmus delivered an amazing message and Cynthia Sauer delivered an amazing message. So were you plugged into that? Okay. I hope the answer is yes. If not plug in this upcoming week to Thursday zoom and make sure you have guests. Now here's the second question for the existing team. How many powerful question, how many people on your team were plugged in? That's the key. So you think about this leadership is about setting the pace. Leadership is about doing what we want our people to do, but leadership's also influence. So we want to, we want to lead by example, but then we want to encourage influence and inspire our team to do the things they need to do to succeed and reach their goals. So staying plugged in, is leading by example, but from a leadership standpoint, it's getting beyond the art, you know, beyond the science of just sending an email saying, you know, plug into the events this week or a text, which are fine. There's a difference between announcing an upcoming event and building towards that upcoming event. This is a key leadership principle. Uh, there's a difference. You, announcements are great. They're important. That's kind of the price of admission, right? The company does that. We send out communications on all of the events and the calls as reminders, et cetera. That's important. And you can take, and a lot of our top leaders take those and then forward them back out to the team with your own comments. That's beautiful. But leadership also is an art. It's not just what we do, it's how we do it. And so it's making those extra couple of calls. If you've got a couple brand new members of the team from the last few days, pick up the phone and call them. And say, hey, listen, just wanted to make sure we, you know, we got a spot reserved for you at the, the quick start training on Saturday. I'm going to be there. I hope you can be there. It's going to be important. It's going to really help you get off to a fast start and get through that learning curve quickly. So staying plugged in, like, like all success principles, very simple, you know, from an intellectual standpoint. But there's depth into, into to the importance of, of these principles to your business. So, so lead by example, just like you're doing today. Stay plugged in but also recognize that we want your team to get plugged in to the degree that you can have more and more of your organization plugged into these events on a weekly basis, especially with guests Thursday night, your business is going to grow exponentially. So number one, stay plugged in. Number two, consistency, do something positive every day to build and grow your business. It might be inviting somebody to taste a protovite moment. Invite somebody to taste the product, share some information, plug them into the Thursday night Zoom. Invite somebody to taste the protovite, share some information, put them on a call with your upline success coach, a three-way call. But those little, it, may, it might be a follow-up. Maybe you shared, you shared uh, Insorb with, with, with one of your contacts yesterday and, and you want to follow up today. Maybe forward them an extra video. Put them on the phone with one of your, your upline success coaches so they can answer questions. So it's that, it's, it's so do just that consistency, doing a little bit every day. Do something positive every day. Plug it into this quick start training. That's something positive every day. You, the, the compounding effect of doing the basics, doing them often, and doing them well is absolutely beyond comprehension what, what can happen literally in 30 to 60 and 90 days with your business. If you're consistent, if you lead by example, and, and again, you teach and train your team to do the exact same thing. Powerful, powerful principle. So stay plugged in, which is exactly what you're doing. Keep it up. Influence and support and encourage your team to do the exact same thing. And then do something positive every day to build and grow your business. And folks, you're going you're gonna to be, be on track. Now, we've got five ingredients to success that I'm going to cover real quickly, quicker than I normally do before we introduce our featured trainer for today. Five ingredients to success. Like any, like any recipe, you got to have the right ingredients or you're not going to have the desired result. I think we can all agree on that. And I'm not a cook. <laughs> I'm not, I can make a mean omelet, but that's about it. So think about this. If you don't have the right ingredients, you can do everything else perfectly, but you're not going to have the, the, the end product is not going to be tasty. How about that? I'll stick with the metaphor. All right. So the idea is you got to have the right ingredients with your VNI business. There are, there are really five key ingredients that you need to bring to the table in order to position yourself properly with your goals, whatever your goals might be with your VNI business. Okay. Um, there's five key ingredients. Number one, first ingredient to success is you got to have desire. 
You got to have desire to get from point A where you are right now to point B where you want to go. And that's, that's been an interesting observation for me over the, over the years, over the decades, candidly, uh, in business, but especially in this model. Um, if, if someone's comfortable you know, they, they, they just are really comfortable with every aspect of their life, which is rare. God bless them. That's good. I'm not talking about being happy, an inner happiness and joy. Um, but I mean, you know, they, they, they're comfortable. They would, you know, they're, let's face it, there are some people that would rather watch four or five hours of TV every night uh, after work uh, six, seven days a week. And, and God bless those people. They absolutely need our product and they would make great customers. Okay, particularly if they're leading that kind of a sedentary lifestyle, <laughs> but, but they're probably not going to engage and build a business. So what you and I need to recognize is we have to personally, lead by example, have the desire for something more. So what is it you, what is it you want out of your Victory Nutrition business? Is it, what, what's, the, what's the, do you want to, do you want to create some cash flow? Are you mission driven like all of our team to, 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 to share these products, get this message of health, hope, and abundance out into a world that needs it um, so that you can create a cash flow to pay off credit card debt? Maybe it's children's education. Maybe it's to augment or supplement your retirement. Maybe it's because you want to scale this thing, your business over the next couple, two, three years and be a full-time entrepreneur where you're, you work when you want, with the people you want, where you want, et cetera. Um, maybe it's you want, to, you want to get your spouse home from, from, a, from a part-time job or a full-time job. W whatever it is, you got to have that desire to get from point A where you are to point B where you want to go. And then what you need to do is have clarity on your point B, your personal point B. Why are you building your VNI business? What is it that you want out of it? And be bullish on not letting anyone steal that dream. There, don't, hang on to that. So number one, first ingredient to success is desire. Okay, desire for something more. I'm not, we're not talking greed. We're talking a desire that will bless your family, your friends, your loved ones, your life, enrich your life. That's what we've, we've said this before, that one of the things that makes Victory Nutrition International different as a culture of what we're doing is we're mission driven with, with, with and our products are science based. They are not like nothing else in the marketplace. It's a crowded market. A lot of companies talking about their science. But when you say, show me your clinicals, you're, the talking stops, <laughs> the talking stops. And um, we have VNISCience.com. People say, well, show us your science. Hey, we'd love to. Um, you want to do some reading over the weekend? And I say this with love and respect. Go to vniscience.com and let's talk Monday <laughs> if you want to talk science. So that's, that scientific substantiation is one of the keys. I mean, these are real products, real intellectual property that are absolutely impacting people's health. And, folks, we don't make health claims. We don't have to. We don't, we're not supposed to. We don't want to, and we don't have to. The bottom line is – you put it again. I've shared this before and I love it. Bill Downs shared this with me. He said, Jeff, he said, we as a society, all of us, you and me, we are, uh, we have Maserati brains and Maserati bodies. And yet we're, we're feeding our Maserati brains and our Maserati bodies lawnmower fuel and expecting them to perform. And then we're scratching our head saying, what's wrong? Why don't I, why don't I feel well? Why do I not have energy? Why do I always have a cold? Why do I have digestive issues? You know, whatever the, the challenge is. Why am I not sleeping at night? Why am I staying, you know, eight hours in bed, but I'm waking up and I'm tired right out of the gate? Well, well because we're, we're feeding our body lawnmower fuel, processed food, packaged food, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The V the V and I products restore our body's ability to use water and oxygen to make energy, maintain energy, and eliminate waste. That's metabolism. At the end of the day, what does that mean? What it means is our products give the body high performance fuel. So we're, we're giving our Maserati brains and our Maserati bodies high performance fuel and our bodies love it. <laughs> our bodies respond. We're just basically equipping our bodies with the nutrients and the, at a cellular level so that they can do what they were meant to do, what God created them to do. And that's the power of this message. So, so we've, got, we've got to have clarity. You've got to have clarity. Back to that desire. What is your point B? 
And don't let anyone, don't look left, don't look right, focus, don't let anyone steal your dream. Don't let anyone, you know, flash shiny bright objects and tell you the grass is greener or this is easier or this is faster or you can win the lottery over here. Stay focused on your mission, do the basics, do them off and do them well and you'll be amazed at the results. So number one, you gotta have a desire. Number two, persistence. I'm gonna go through these next four real quick. There's a learning curve in this business just like anything else. The only way to fail is to quit. You know, a lot of people think success and failure are opposites of the same coin, opposite sides of the same coin. They're not. Success is, lies on the other side of failure. And the bridge that takes you there is persistence. Anybody that's ever done anything, men and women throughout history that have accomplished anything meaningful, raising a family, launching a business, starting a church, starting a charity or nonprofit, anything, you name it, building a house, uh, raising a family, uh, on and on and on, music, creating music, creating art, anything, there's persistence. And, and folks, quitting's easy. Um, and so you've just got to stay focused on your, your point B. Where is it? Why, why, do you, why are you building your V&I business? What do you want out of it? And don't let anyone steal your dream. So desire is the first ingredient to success. Desire to get from where you are to where you want to go. Persistence is the second. There's a learning curve in this business. The only way to fail is to quit. The third, folks, is be coachable. Okay, learn from those who have done what you want to do. This individual that I'm going to be introducing in just a couple of minutes is an executive director with VNI, and his business is growing. So it's not theory he's teaching. It's not. It's not. This. This. This is in the. This is what he's doing with his team, and his team is growing. So be coachable. Recognize. Have the the, the humility and the wisdom to recognize that the wheel. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Okay, the wheel's been created. We we got the wheel. We're going to just teach you how to roll it, okay? So, again, paint by the numbers. Very predictable model. If you're taking notes, this business model is predictable if you're coachable, okay? We know what works. We know what doesn't work, and you don't have to figure it out. That's powerful. Hopefully, that inspires you. Um, no matter what your background is, you can do this, and we're going to help you every step of the way. Next, commitment. You know, a mentor of mine used to say, commitment is what is left after the emotion of the moment has passed. Commitment is what is left after the emotion of the moment has passed. So when you're brand new, when you're excited, your first week, your first 30 days with, with your Victory Nutrition business, you, you know, you're seeing results with the product. You've got people you've introduced to the product. You're, they're, they're experiencing results. That's all great. But eventually, you're going to have a challenging day. Okay? We all do. You're going to have disappointment. Somebody that you think is going to embrace the products is not. Somebody that needs them is not. Somebody that's going to, that could be a superstar in building a business with you and you're really thinking about the fun, the vision of having fun and locking arms with this individual because you care about them and you love them and you want to and, and really take this thing across North America and globally and, and, and the timing is not right and they say no or they engage and quit. The reality is you're going to have some challenging days. That's life. We all do. That's why you want to stay plugged in. That's why you want to stay plugged in. Get, get, get filled back up from your upline success coaches. Get filled back up from our calls and our Zoom events and, and get yourself back inspired. But it, it does take commitment. Commitment is what is left after the emotion of the moment has passed. And fifth and finally, have fun. It's about progress, not perfection. So don't put pressure on yourself to be perfect out of the gate. Don't be afraid. I've made tons of mistakes on these Zoom calls. <laughs> well, over the last few weeks while I've le I'm learning the platform, some of you are experts in this and you're like, "Woo, Jeff's, Jeff's, a, Jeff's a slow learner. And that's okay. So recognize, have fun with it. Don't take yourself too serious. Don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone. It's all good. Um, nobody, you know, nobody's shooting flame and airs at us, I hope, um, that I'm aware of. And so uh, those are the five ingredients to success. Take a look at them. Hold yourself accountable in a very, in a very positive way. Number one, desire. Number two, persistence. Number three, be coachable. Number four, commit to your dreams with your VNI business. And number five, have fun. Enjoy the journey. It, you know, one step at a time. It's about it's about progress, not perfection. Um, don't be afraid to you know. John Maxwell calls it failing forward. Don't 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 be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid if somebody asks you a question to not know the answer and tell them I don't know the answer, but I'm going to find out for you. Okay, you want to have fun with it. You'll attract people by having fun and not taking yourself too seriously. Our mission of health and wellness is very serious, but we're having fun while we're doing it. 
I always tell people that this beats working for a living. It really, it really does. And we want you to have that same mindset. So as I segue into my introduction, I'm going to turn on the video. I'm going to ask, let's see, I'm unmuting your audio, Dave. And then I'm asking to start your video. All right. So our, our, uh, our featured speaker for today's training is a gentleman. We're going to bounce up from Charlotte, North Carolina, where I am up to the great state of Pennsylvania. Uh, Mr. Dave Stoltzfus, as I mentioned, is an executive director with Victory Nutrition International, um, has an extraordinary track record in this industry, but he is uh, focused on helping you and me uh, uh, learn the fundamentals that he's learned and that he's teaching his team uh, with VNI. So with that... Thank you, Jeff. Well, I tell you, I think I can speak for anyone who knows you, Jeff. We really appreciate you and the leadership that you bring to... Um, to V and I, I've been around the block of several times and uh, there's two things that I'm really learning very, very fast in V and I is that uh, no company has Bill and Kim and no company has Jeff Hooks. And I, uh, and I really mean that sincerely. I, uh, I, I consider myself uh, kind of an old timer in, in the uh, network marketing business uh, kind of thing. And I want you to know that uh, I really appreciate you. Uh, and welcome, welcome to the uh, VNI team out there. And uh, we will go through uh, kind of what I do to build this business and what I've done for years and years and years. Obviously, as I've gone along, I've tried to refine these a little bit. And uh, so uh, just uh, allow me to share my, what I call the seven Ps. Um, I'm a teacher uh, by heart, and uh, many times I have to, because of my uh, bent to being a teacher, I have to hang content onto something, and that's how I remember it. Um, and I don't just remember content for the sake of content. I have to somehow hang it onto something, and I challenge you to do the same thing as you go along, especially if you want to be a teacher and a trainer and pass it on to your network. Uh, hang your content onto something so that they can remember it. And uh, so hopefully that's uh, what we can accomplish a few things uh, today. So allow me to share my seven Ps. Uh, the first one, um, way back when I was 16 years old, I gave my heart to the Lord. And uh, I have since then in all my life, uh, in the last uh, 50, 60 years, I have learned the power of prayer. And uh, to me, that just simply means that uh, praying and bringing the supernatural into what we're doing. Uh, God has a, a, a much greater perspective. He has greater ideas of what I do. And many times at, the, uh, at nighttime, when I'm in bed, uh, ideas come into my head or when I get up first thing in the morning. And I know where these ideas come from because I prayed for them. I prayed into them. And so I really believe in the supernatural and building our, our uh, uh, V&I business. And so, you know, whatever that uh, prayer means to you, uh, let me just really encourage you to do that. V&I's success is our success. And so what do I pray for? I pray for V&I's success. I really do because their success becomes our success. Uh, in the past, I have uh, been involved already with a company where they did not have success. And guess what? I didn't either. And so V&I's success is our success and they need our prayers. Jeff's leadership uh, transfers into our leadership if we follow him. And so we need to pray for Jeff that God continues to give him uh, leadership wisdom and what he's doing on these Zooms and the calls, which I really, really appreciate. And uh, another thing that I do is uh, many times in the morning, I'll ask God to reveal my next prospect. I mean, it might be a person I'm just walking by and, and, and somehow there's something inside of me that touches me and says, uh, uh, give this person a v and I sample, a product, uh, because that next prospect is looking for you. I have always said, 
that for every 10 no's that you get in this business, there is one person that's in their closet, on their knees, praying that God would send them somebody. And that somebody might be you. So really uh, focus on that prospect before you start the day. And that next leader wants to follow you. I pray that God gives me wisdom as to who my leaders are among my reps. I pray into that. And many times God begins to show me. Now, let me just go back for a second. Um, and uh, I heard a story which is kind of uh, interesting. A, um, uh, someone was driving down the road and they noticed this beautiful farm well kept and uh, uh, the painting of the barns and the fences and everything was in order. And uh, the person stopped and said um, to the farmer, said, wow, I said, uh, God must have really blessed you with, a, with this beautiful farm. And obviously the farmer uh, was a Christian and he acknowledged the fact that yes, God did. But then the caveat was, but you should have seen it when he had it by himself. And so sometimes we can pray into our business and not do what our part is in joining and becoming a part of that supernatural. And that's what these other P's are all about. Second P is a product. I like when Bill says that the uh, products, uh, the, um, uh, the, the, the products are liquid food in the blood, liquid food for the blood. And the operative word is food. They're not vitamins. The operative word is not vitamins. And we'll share a little bit on that as we go along. It's food for the blood. And I have always felt and believe very strongly and I've taken some of the finest uh, supplements on the market in the last 50 years. What I have discovered with V and I, it's not just a vitamin, it's not just extracted vitamins. It's a lifetime process and it's not a short term testimonial that puts someone on a high. Because the process six months down the road or a year down the road, the body's suddenly wants to go through a cleansing. So where did my testimonial go? Oh, I don't feel as good right now, you know, today as I did when I first started. Well, it's going through a process and it goes through a cycle. Our body goes through cycles. If we understand that the liquid food for the blood, that helps the body go through its cleansing process. It helps the body go through certain healing processes. It helps the body go through restoration process. And these could be cyclic. And so I love the V&I approach to the product, not just vitamins. And I really believe what um, uh, Jeff was sharing is our competitive edge is not our testimonials. And I don't think we should go down that road to try to compete with other supplements just on testimonials. Our competitive edge is science and no one no one in the industry, and believe me, I've been around it long enough, no one in this industry, in the nutritional industry, has our competitive edge of science. And all you have to do is just go into um, vni.science uh, and just read some of that stuff if you want to. Pass it on to some people that you're talking to if you want to. You begin to realize, listen to Bill, listen to those calls, listen to the calls. And, and I love when they talk some, uh, many times more about the science than what they do the testimonials because V&I knows that our products take our body through a process. It's not a short-term testimonial high as uh, our, our competition would seem to do. This is also something that I have learned. You know, in the beginning, if you just want to do the 130 PV uh, a month, and uh, that can really get you started. But boy, the $225 PV worth of products maximizes your personal PV requirement to benefit 10 levels into the Unilevel Comp Plan. And not only that, if my wife and I are taking or my friend is taking it with me or I'm giving out some samples, you know, uh, 
uh, Ellie and I have a hard time keeping our volume down to 225 PV a month. In fact, we don't even try. We just buy the products that we know we need for that month, including the samples that we give out. And so keep that in mind as you, as you start building and growing. That $225 PV maximizes your personal PV requirement to benefit the 10 levels into the unit level. And um, Jeff talked so uh, uh, great as to wh why it's so important. Plug into VNI's library of information. Plug into that. Um, the websites, the conference calls, the Zoom webinars. Yeah, I mean, these things make my job so easy in sharing these products. Uh, so it's plug into it. Sometimes I see. Uh, uh, a, a rep or somebody, a leader that maybe has lost uh, uh, some of their energy and their excitement, well, guess what? They have plugged out of, they have pulled the plug on their energy source. And their energy source is VNI's library of information. It's those websites, those conference calls, those Zoom webinars. I have yet to get on a VNI conference call or website or a Zoom or conference call. <laughs> that I have not learned something tremendously. I mean, this morning, uh, Jeff's five ingredients, incredible. I mean, those five things I will just meditate on and, and chew on and, and, uh, and, uh, and probably teach on and train on. Now, I wouldn't have learned that if I wouldn't have been uh, on the call today. And guess what? That information translates into bonus checks. And so people say sometimes, well, uh, I would like to increase my bonus check. Well, plug in. It's a wonderful way to increase your bonus check. And I always tell people, be like a librarian. Direct the information, even if you know the information at times. There are times when I know the information and I will tell them to go into a website. I will give them the, inf the not, not necessarily the information, I could give it to them but I will hand them something or tell them where to go find it. I don't know if you've ever played the game where you write something down on a piece of paper and you hand it on to the next one and you hand, then that person has it and they read it, okay? And at the end of 10, 15, 20, 100 people that's been passed on to, guess what? They're reading the same thing. One of the things I like about VNI is their plan and it's duplicable. And so, but if you just whisper that information, that piece of paper to the person beside you and ask that person to whisper the same thing to the next person, then the third person whispers the fourth. Well, by the time they get to the third or fourth person, it's not what the first person shared with the, with, with the second person. That's not duplication. And I have learned over the years that this business especially in, in, in the kind of industry that when it is hand-to-hand -hand opportunity. You hand them something. And so the librarian, if I go into a library and says, I would like to uh, learn some things on the Civil War, well, she's not going to sit there and spend three hours telling me about what she knows about the Civil War. She will give me a library card, an index card, and say, you know, here's where you find this information. Now, guess what? If someone asks me about information on the Civil War, I can hand the same thing. So it's a hand-to-hand -hand opportunity, not a head-to-head -head opportunity. It's hand-to-hand -hand and learn how to do that. Learn to keep it very simple. And, uh, and I'll talk some more about that as we go along. Uh, prospect, uh, again, remember the P's, I am hanging my teaching and my training into my network onto the P's. Remember the P's. Three groups of people, prospect. You have the hot market. Well, the hot market are people that you know. And let me give you all a challenge. I've given myself this challenge recently and I'm really excited about it. Take a 30 Enzorb samples per month for three months. Or if you think that's too much, uh, then take 15 Enzorb samples or protobite samples, you know, whatever. Um, uh, take 
30 or 15 or maybe even 10. It's up to you. you know, it's your business per month for three months. And if you do that consistently for the next 90 days, you will be almost guaranteed to be in the map pool, which is the monthly subscription pool. And that is the, the shares that V and I shares with you on a monthly basis of their international growth. In this industry, no company gives shares of company's growth to a new rep that comes into their business. None. They normally do it for the top sales leaders where they can earn shares into the growth of the company. Um, v and I, uh, the wisdom of this is incredible. So your heart, heart market are the people that you know. You start with that. You really start with that. But let me also say this, that your hot market will only last about 90 days. And so you're going to have to find another prospecting source, and that is your warm market. Now, these are your referrals. So if I have a person that I know, a friend or a family or a coworker, and they really got excited about the product, my question to them is, who do you know that would also like a sample? You know, I don't even say, who do you know that would like to try the product? Who do you know that would like a sample? Because now they think it's a freebie that I'm giving to somebody, and it is. So those are referrals. Now the referrals, as your hot market kind of disappears a little bit, so will your warm market if you're not careful. So let's say that lasts about six months. So where do I go now? And if you look at the trend in this industry, after about three months or six months, you know, a rep begins to struggle with the ideas to who they're going to talk to. Well, there's another market out there that they have to tap into, and it's called a cold market. And these are people that you don't know, your hot market don't know these people. And these could be business expos, they could just be all kinds of things where you're just setting yourself up, making yourself available in front of groups of people, groups of people. And then you could be giving out literature and samples and your cards and things like that. So those are the three markets that people really, if, if you really want to grow in this business, you have to consider your hot market where you start with and then move into your warm market and then really seriously consider how am I going to get to the cold market? Because the cold market is really the market that will begin to get you to the top ranks. Moving rank to executive director can pay for your prospecting costs. You know, they have a, a rank maintenance uh, bonus and what they give out in a rank uh, uh, maintenance bo bonus uh, all the way up to executive rec, uh, director amounts to $2,500. No other company does that. Amounts to $2,500. You don't have to use that all for your prospecting costs, but that's how do I pay for my samples that I give out to my cold market, my warm market? Well, you just move from rank to rank and let VNI help you pay for that. Now, promote. And Jeff went over this so uh, beautifully. Promote three things. It's the science of the products. And like I said before, no one has a science. Uh, no one has the research on a finished product. Incredible. Uh, promote Jeff's weekly calls and Zooms. And, and I can tell you, I, I can honestly tell you, and I, and, and I don't say this lightly, there is no one that I know of in the industry that not only knows their stuff as to how to build these businesses, but also knows how to get it across. And I think that's really, really important. Jeff's weekly calls and Zoom, boy, it really makes my job easy. Your vision, promote your vision and your plan to take a few reps with you. It just takes a few of them, uh, you know, to take with you. Not every rep is going to follow you to the next rank or the next rank. People follow. The operative word here is articulated. People follow articulated vision and plans more than they do the money. I have learned that in this industry the hard way. Oh, look what kind of money that you could make, you know, in the next rank, in the next rank, in the next rank. 
and some something happened, you know, they weren't going to their next rank. But guess what? When I learned how to articulate my vision and my plans, how to get there, there were enough of people who wanted to follow me, who wanted the same thing. So people follow articulated vision and plans more than they do the money. I think if your vision is not articulated, it is nothing more than wishful thinking. Um, plan your next rank. Now, why would you do that? I really believe and have learned again in this industry that the most important plan of your success is how to get to your next rank, not how to get to crown ambassador, not how to get to ambassador, not how to get to um, executive director, but how do you get to your next rank? Figure that out. It's a track to run on. Your rank is a track to run on. Your rank, going for your next rank. Okay, so you're a representative. Now you should try to figure out how to become a manager. And ask your, um, your uh, cross line, your up line. Uh, Jeff teaches on this. Uh, uh, you know, what do I need to do to become a manager? What's laid out? And then that's what you focus on for the next 90 days, how to get to my next rank so that when you become a manager, then, you know, how do I become an executive manager? Well, that's the next step you should take. Don't take step number two before you've taken step number one. It's a track to run on. And I teach my people that to stay on track, go for your next rank. And whatever you have to do, that means all the other P's that we're talking about. Um, it uh, gives you an idea how to direct and guide your reps to their next rank. So if you know how to get to manager, you will be able to teach a few of your reps who want to become a manager how to do that because you have learned how to do that. Educate, it educates you on the comp plan. Uh, the mistake that some people make, and I think uh, the mistake that I have made so many years is I tried to eat the whole elephant in one bite, you know, and I'm talking about the elephant being the comp plan. And so, but step by step, rank by rank, it educates you on the comp plan. You want to graduate from high school. You don't try to figure out what your classes have to be in the 12th grade. You just try to figure out what your classes have to be and what you need to learn to go into your next grade. And so, so uh, if you move from one rank to the next, it's so simple. This comp plan is so easy to follow if you don't try to eat it in one bite or eat that elephant in one bite. It educates you on the comp plan as you go along. And it increases your monthly income, which is something that I think we all want. It's also motivational for your network. They see you growing in the ranks, uh, then, um, uh, many times it's motivational for them. We'll wrap this up. Partner, the seventh P, partner with those who want to reach their next rank. Now, the rest of the network, I support. I support them in whatever, you know, with my, with my cell phone, with my website, uh, with my uh, emails, and I do that weekly and I support them. But I partner with those few, it only takes a few, who want to reach their next rank. Like I said before, not everyone will want to do that. I partner with those. These are the people I partner with who work the peace. You see, I don't come alongside of them and say, I will help you. No, I will support you. Those are the two words that uh, can really, if you learn how to support instead of just help you, because I found out that if you use the word help too much, then, uh, they will let you do all the work. Oh, you said you'd help me. Then, then, you know, give me some leads. You said you'd help me. No, I will support you. Okay. That's what this business is all about. I partner with those who have a positive attitude in life. I have a hard time hanging around with people who have a negative bent on life. And one of the things that I enjoy about this industry in this business is those few people that continue to grow with me and B and I, they become my closest friends, and I enjoy hanging out with them. Uh, I partner with those who are committed to V&I. 
don't tell me that you're doing two or three network marketing businesses. I can't support you in that. I won't support you in that. Who are committed to V&I and sharing V&I and growing with it, who want to partner with me. See, that's another thing that I do. If they don't want to partner with me, that's okay. I have no problem with that. I, I, I don't control, you know, I'm not that controlling. Two definitions of network marketing. Market to the network of people you know. That's how you get started. Then there's another level of network marketing. That's when you create networks who market to the people they know. Both of them are network marketing. And the second one is leadership. And boy, that's, uh, you know, that goes beyond this call. And, uh, but uh, Jeff is extremely qualified to uh, lead us into the leadership of our organizations. Now, add your own piece. Add your own piece. You know, keep them simple. Duplication by design. Duplication, not by default. Sometimes people say, oh, if I sponsor two and they'll sponsor two and they'll sponsor, you know, it, it's, it, it doesn't work that way. You have, to, you have to create duplication by design. The question always is, do you want to help five people or 5,000 people? The question always is, do you want to help five people or five people or 5,000 people? The five people you can do when you're networking among your friends. The 5,000 is when you network through networks, when you're creating networks. Now, what I like about this system, the P's are the same. The P's are the same, whether you want to help five or 5,000, doesn't matter, the P's are the same. All that is different is your vision, your commitment, and the size of your bonus check. Dave, I got to tell you, my friend, um, that was masterful. Um, I am, uh, <laughs> candidly, I, I mean, I, I, I know you're a leader. Uh, the depth of that blew me away. I just got, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna try to hold back. That was beautiful. Um, folks, uh, Dave, thank you for your leadership. Um, I'm actually a little, almost a little bit emotional. That was powerful. I mean, it really- oh, Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. And Jeff, thank you for believing in us. Thank you. Well, I, I and, and I do. And uh, boy, you just showed some capacity that was beyond my most optimistic expectations. So I'm very grateful. Um, and actually a little bit, a little bit emotional. That was the, the folks, there was such wisdom in, in Thank you, sir. So folks, what, one of the things we're committed to, this includes Dave, includes Dwight Halstead, includes Edda Gita Bender, includes Lisa Turner, includes Judy Barrett, includes, uh, you know, Gene and Esther up in Canada, includes Ken Nasmus and his leadership team, Michael Saletti. I don't want to leave anybody out. That's all off the top of my head. Our leadership team, one of the things we're committed to in these quick start training calls is 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 teaching the team and learning from each other all of us learning from each other absolutely myself included is we want to focus on fundamentals um one of the things that i've learned in this business is top leaders consistent with dave's definition and and um, um coaching on what leadership is top leaders become top income earners it's just a byproduct of doing the right things and and they don't do extraordinary things they do the basics extraordinarily well. So you're gonna see uh, fundamentals taught in every one of these quick start trainings and every training that we have. And you're also gonna see leadership. And Dave's presentation, Dave's training today to us had both in depth. And so I know every single person that's watching this live and we've got a great turnout, biggest Saturday event yet. I know we've got, uh, uh, we've got, uh, our replay uh, uh, numbers, uh, replays during the day and the week following a live event are hitting all time highs. So I know every single person, whether you're brand new or one of our top income earners, you were nourished by Dave's coaching and the wisdom that he shared. And we're gonna always, every one of us is, you know, John Wooden, my, one of my favorite non-biblical quotes, and, and, and John Wooden was an amazing man of faith. But if you've read, if you wanna study leadership, read any of his books, but he used to say, it's what we learn after we know it all that counts. And that's what we want to commit to as a leadership team is, is whether we're brand new or whether we're, you know, a crown um, or whether we're the president of the company, we're all a team. 
and and we want to learn and grow and prove and support each other in that journey and enjoy the journey and Dave that was again a masterful training what I want to close with is real quick and this fits in a perfect close to the amazing coaching and wisdom that Dave shared with all of us and I call this you know think about this as you're expanding your network per Dave's coaching, hot market, warm market, cold market, as we're, and we're going to do further teaching. We're going to have Dave do some further teaching on how to expand your warm market, um, how to turn your cold market into warm market. And there's very intentional ways to do that. And we're going to teach you how to do that. Here's what's amazing. Leaders are leaders grow. And, and if you'll think about it, as we grow, as you and I grow, as we grow as a team, as we grow individually, our influence increases. All right, think about this. As our influence increases, our credibility in increases with people that we know and people that we come across. And it's, it's a very, it's a humble exercise. It's not a postured exercise. It's, it's humble. It's, it's influence. It's that, that's, that single mom speaking encouragement into their children's lives. It's, it's, it's influence. It's not posture. It's, it's, it comes from the heart. Um, again, we're all about missionaries, not mercenaries with Victory Nutrition International. And, and Dave's leadership is an absolute perfect example of that. So, so think about this. I call these the, the influence habits. Okay, it's four simple tips. This is leadership. I'm going to we're close with this. You can call them credibility habits if you want. I call them influence habits. These are four little simple things that are easy to do, but also easy not to do. Um, and if we implement every one of them, if we, if every one of us, if we implement these and focus on these, um, our influence is going to grow. And, and we'll be able to attract and, and connect and share V&I with, with sharp people. We'll get out of our comfort zone more comfortably and get easy, you know, get comfortable with getting out of our comfort zone, if that makes sense. But here they are, the four uh, influence habits that every one of us can implement. Number one, be on time. Be on time. Be on time shows respect for other people. It shows for respect for the people that you're meeting with, the people that you're talking to. And folks, I will tell you right now in the spirit of partnership, I have, a, I have trouble with this. I overbook myself and I have calls run over. I have meetings run over. This is something I work on every single day and I'm getting better, but there's a lot of, it's about progress, not perfection, but, I, but I've got a lot of room for improvement. Be on time, number one. Number two, do what you say. Do what you say. You know, it sounds simple, things that are easy to do or easy not to do, but when you say you're going to do something, do it. If you say you're going to call somebody, call them. If you say you're going to be somewhere, be there. If you say you're going to follow up and, and forward a, you know, a video on Brain Reward, do it. If you say you're going to, uh, you know, be on the Zoom event Thursday night, you know, to, to, and then have a call with one of your guests afterwards to answer questions, then do it. Be there. If you schedule a meeting, be there. Unless it's, you know, there's, we all have... If, it's, if, there's, if a challenge comes up that's unforeseen, then communicate proactively as best you can. But number one, be on time. Number two, do what you say. Number three, finish what you start. You know, the world is full of starters. And, and, I, and I, there have been more than one time in my life <laughs> when I've been in that bucket. And it's, 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 it's a group I don't really want to be known as a part of, with all due respect. Be, be a finisher. Um, under promise, over deliver. Finish what you start, and that includes your Victory Nutrition business. You've got a vision. That's why you've invested time into learning and growing today with us. You've got a, there's a mission, there's a vision, and 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 and, and that's going to shape as we learn from each other. Where your vision likely is going to expand, but you do need to have a vision. What is your vision? The good book says, without a vision, people perish. The people perish. And so, what is your vision for your VNI business? And make sure you tie that vision to a commitment of finishing what you start. And then fourth and finally, say please and thank you. I will tell you folks, it's, it's amazing. This is, I don't mean to be preachy here, but as a culture, as a society, I hear please and thank you a lot less now than I did 10 years ago. And uh, nothing bothers me more than some of our younger adults when, when I'm spending my hard earned money at a restaurant as a service business of some sort. And I say, thank you. And they say, no problem. Of course, it's not a problem. I'm the customer. Why would it be a problem? <laughs> How about you're welcome. That's all. Or what Chick-fil-A says, my pleasure. They're taught to say my, you say, thank you. They say my pleasure. That's awesome. I love that. And so, so those are the, those are the influence habits. Be on time, 
do what you say, finish what you start, and say please and thank you. And folks, if those are simple, but if we'll work on those, if you're inspired to, you know, if, if you just work on those, try to get a little bit better over a matter of days, weeks, you know, the journey, the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. Your influence is going to go up with the people that you know. And it's not because of what you say, it's because of your actions. And those things will help. So folks, on behalf of Dave and the entire VNI family, have a blessed weekend, folks. Let's finish September strong. We are, uh, we are passionate about this mission of, of being uh, beacons of health, hope, and abundance to a world that needs it. And, um, and build towards Thursday's Zoom event. How many guests are you going to have at the Thursday Zoom event? A bigger question is, if you look between now and next Saturday's Quick Start event, how many new people are, are you going to share VNI with? How many new people are you going to share the products? You know, invite somebody to taste the product. In, invite, you know, hand out a sample. Follow Dave's leadership on his sample program with, with the Enzorb and, 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 and these, I call them the beacon of light booklets, <laughs> but, but pick your own, get with your upline success coach, put an action plan together and, and put this, this amazing company and product and brand in front of some new people over the upcoming week. And let's, let's finish September strong and folks stay tuned uh, for an announcement again, the end of this week that you're going to be very, very pleased with in terms of uh, some of the progress, the companies, the, the, the marketing team, uh, customer care has been involved, our programming, we've got our own programmers and developers. They're working on some enhancements to your website and a couple other exciting things that also tie into compensation um, that you're going to be very, very excited about that will help all of us finish September strong as well. So um, Dave, thank you, sir. And thanks to all of you. Have a wonderful day and a great weekend. And uh, we'll talk soon. God bless. Bye-bye.